I can do the same kind of bridge circuit with this potentiometer. It has three wires on it. The two outside wires go across a constant resistance and the third wire in the middle there is the wiper that goes and moves back and forth across that resistance to vary the resistance between each of the two pairs of pins. So let's plug that in. There's three wires plugged in there and I'll connect this side of that potentiometer to ground. I'll connect the other side of the main resistance of that potentiometer to plus 5 volts. And now I'll put my measurement in the middle. And by adjusting that potentiometer from one end I'll have 5 volts. Keep on turning the knob I get an adjustable voltage source. This is a voltage divider with a potentiometer in the middle which allows us to vary the voltage on that intermediate pin and we can use that as an adjustment for our circuits. Finally in the instance where we have a potentiometer we've got one big resistor and we've got a knob over here that allows us to move this slider back and forth on that resistor. So there's our potentiometer. So the resistance R1 and R2 can be changed. And what's important is just the ratio between R1 and R2. Let's follow this back through. We got the voltage across this lower resistance, this R2 resistance, equal to IR. And we got the current I equal to V over the total resistance. So that voltage right there will be equal to I times R2 and I is equal to the total voltage, the 5 volts, divided by R1 plus R2. So the measured voltage should be I, that'll be total voltage, times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Or you can just work through it step by step like we did over here. And what we see is as we move this slider up and down, when it moves up to here, our measured voltage, the VM that we get on our slider, will be 5 volts. When we move down here, we'll get down to 0 volts.